have these three people <laughs> getting ready to cook chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all summers. Yeah. yeah. Three summers. Yay! Yay. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look who's here, the one who made her a mom. <laughs> He, yeah, he I'll did make me a mom. There we go. Now yeah, it's a better three go. shot. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. When the guy's the tall one, it's good. Yeah, no, it, but it, it messes up or the frame. What I always say to you, stand up straight. Stand up straight. How lucky you are to be tall. Yeah. And Gramps always said, stand up straight, damn it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I need utensils. Uh -oh. This needs to. Yeah, good thinking. Well, it's Mother's Day, and I'm so excited. Caroline and Bruce have come down, and we're going to have a great Mother's Day dinner, and I don't know what it is. She's cooking. But I'm looking at all these wonderful things here, and I'm thinking, I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be great. That's well, garlic. Garlic and ginger. Okay. And a little sesame oil. Okay. Great. And Suzanne always says that she likes it when I make Asian food, because she doesn't, she loves it, but she doesn't make it much. That's not what I make. And also, it usually has so much MSG, and it's usually not organic, so... The fact that I can make it a little less bad. I mean, it's still it's not bad. You know, it's sugar and salt and all of that. But it's yeah, but, but it's so delicious. much love. How yeah, can it be bad yeah, for you? yeah. Oh, I wish you could We're smell. Start loading that cabbage. I wish you could here, smell. Yeah. So um, good. Oh, look at the two hands. I gotta pull this down. So this is a bunch of chopped cabbage. We're starting with pot stickers, no. which I've actually never made before, but. I wanted to make something new and different. Yeah, today. and, and um, with these pot stickers, do you have to wet them first? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna. So what she's got in make here it together is um, lots of garlic, lots of ginger, mm -hmm. sesame oil, and a bunch of really incredibly chopped up yeah. cabbage. A lot of people with the cabbage will like chop it really fine, and then they'll put it in a dish towel and squeeze out the excess water. But to me. The co cooking the ginger and the garlic just gives it a richer flavor. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and I think getting the cabbage wilted with the ginger yeah. and garlic in it just makes for a Are we having a Mother's Day cocktail? Better. Yes. Okay. We're okay. okay. All right. Here, well, cheers over Caroline. Okay. Yay. I love you, Bruce. I love you. You guys, I got my Instagram back. Mmm. We beat the hackers. And I got my wife back. Yeah. She was in a dark mood all week. Were you? Understand. Oh, no, it's because it's worrisome. You don't know where they're going to go. Yeah. I was worried they were going to get your account. And, and what would happen? They can wipe out your account. Mm. Yeah. That's why they kept saying, don't talk about it too much because oh. they can just, if they, if they find out that we're on to them, they can wipe your account. Who's them? Hackers. Sorry, hackers. Like, who are the hackers? People who are saying, they were saying they were selling <laughs> Bitcoin. They said they were selling Bitcoin. But you know, oh, if you're that yeah, good yeah. at hacking, like, why not put that to good use? Yeah. Like, you clearly have I had read, I had read that you got a new Range Rover because you did make so much money on Bitcoin. And I know her so well, and I'm reading it going. She liked it, though. And a lot of people were like, well, I assumed it was real because Suzanne liked it. Yeah, because I'm, cause I'm, it's a nice car. My, I was happy for you to get a new Range Rover. And my, my best friend, Lori um, Feltheimer, also liked it. I, had to, I said to both of you, can you guys unlike that so that people know it's not real? But it was so frustrating because I was completely locked out of the account. So I could in a new world. You know, when I was doing Step by Step, my sister-in-law, Alan's sister, gave me a book called The Last Book You'll Ever Read. <laughs> and he said to me, uh, the, the author, uh, uh, I think it was Frank Ogden, a Canadian futurist, he said, in the next 20 years, everything you know, no, 80% of everything you know will be new. And I thought, well, not 80%. Look at this, look yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at the word bandwidth. That didn't even exist back then. And, and hacking and... Um, Downloads. Yeah. 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 Okay. But, and, and I remember, um, I can't remember who it was. Some famous actor says, you got to keep up with pop culture or you'll be left behind. And I didn't understand what she meant at the time, but it's true. It's very true. You can't, oh, well, you know, our neighbor, our neighbor Brooke that I've told you about, uh -huh. she has a pop culture podcast. 
I'd like to listen to it. Yes, and it is exactly for this purpose. Yeah, for like people who aren't up on like what is BTS or what it, you know right. all those things that like um, are so huge. What is BTS? <laughs> that they are like one Behind of the biggest. The seat. Oh, oh, wait, okay. what? They're like one of the biggest um, uh, Korean pop bands. K-pop. Yeah. They're oh. huge. Yeah. The biggest, I know that. We have the to biggest keep up band. Pop culture. You probably saw them on uh, the Grammys. You might. Yeah, have, it's called Pop Culture Mondays. Yeah. And. Um, and she does a good song Monday. And K pop she, is like a thing. She writes the article on Monday and the podcast comes out on Thursday. Cool. But it's once a week. And it's really important because there's so much new going on. Who can you keep up with it? I can't keep up with it. Yeah. Exactly. And I want to. I don't want to be out there. I remember this is really dated, but a friend of mine who's very, very famous, I said, What's your email? He said, Oh, I don't do email. I said, You don't? He said, No. No. My assistant does it, but I don't I said but you're on the road, and and what do you do? Watch soap operas? He goes, I, I don't know. Well, I order room service and I sleep and I go. Do you realize you could be in contact with so many people on the email? Right, right, right. And do you know he's still not on email? This is not who you think I'm talking about. This is another famous Got person. It. Yeah, and. Um, so he's a Luddite. A Luddite. <laughs> <laughs> he's clearly gotten through his whole life without it. I'm going to now add this to the ground pork, which is over here. And is the you ground cook? pork cooked? No. Or raw? Cook, the pork okay. is raw. So That's she's cooked. putting in the uh, garlic ginger mixture in sesame oil with the sauteed cabbage. God, it's just the, if that meat wasn't raw, I'd want to taste it right now. Yeah, not yet. Yeah. But you'll get a chance. Yeah. Okay. Here. First, we take that. Put it in the sink. Go. Oh, yeah, in the sink. Oh, yeah, just rinse it out because I'm going to use it for the pot sticks. Okay. okay, so Yum. I'm going to add a little salt okay. in here. So when you do the pot sticks, you're going to take the, the raw meat mixture and put it in the pot stickers? In there, and then you steam them. Oh. And then you steam, and then it fries at the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is green onion. Okay. All diced up. Okay. And. When you cook on television, you have a pepper. food stylist, and they all come in little dishes like this. No, I was actually going to put the white pepper in with the cabbage, but... We don't know. have a food stylist. Well, I'm the food stylist. She's the food stylist. stylist. This is a little tamari. Yeah. What's the difference between tamari and uh, uh, soy sauce? Tamari is good. Tamari is what happens in the future, as opposed <laughs> to today. <laughs> and this is, now, what is a little the... bit of sugar, a little bit of cornstarch, and a little bit of salt. Very little. Uh -huh. And so what is the difference between tamari and soy sauce? It doesn't have any gluten in it. Okay. So do you use either or? You can use either or. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So you could have put um, soy sauce in there. It's or soy. is there a yeah. different flavor? No, it's, I mean, I just use, I always use tamari because my girls can't eat soy and you don't yeah. like, it just doesn't, it doesn't yeah. have the gluten in it. Yeah. Okay, so now, one of the things you want to do with the, sorry, I keep, you want to really massage this. Yeah. Um, it makes a difference with your... You know, when they go your... into a real cook's kitchen, this is how they cook. They, yeah. There are some things to, only hands can do. Yeah. Oh, and and oh. it actually... <laughs> like, yeah, that feels the... good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, a little to the left. A little to the left. <laughs> the little bit of cornstarch in there, it just makes the whole thing... I bet. You know how like, the juice kind of runs out of yeah. a burger or something? Yeah. You add a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of sugar and it and it, yeah, keeps it. it holds it together. So you know what that. you're doing now is like you're adding that bit of starch through the meat. That's beautiful. And it makes the meat like kind of silky. Don't and suck free. your fingers. No. That would be a trichinosis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would suck. Right. And also, you know, the Chinese women will say you want to use really like a, a, a not a lean pork. You need some fat in there, yeah. or else it gets too crumbly. Fat yeah. is flavor too, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I can feel this now getting kind of like looks good, silky. It looks, and... it looks like the right texture. Yeah. Okay. So now's the fun part. We're gonna make the little dumplings, and none of us have made them before. So yeah, we're okay. gonna learn together. Here we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's have a sip of our drink. Yeah. yeah. Before we get dumpling yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. Now everyone, we have to, we all have to. Are you guys have clean hands? I need to wash my hands. Yes, you do. So I people, people, people are wondering where I am. Oh, Al. Are they? Yeah. Are they? Where's your voiceover, Al? There. <laughs> there he is. Where's Al? Oh, because they because they got confused with the German guy. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll I'll take over and you can jump in. Okay. Okay. That's very kind of you. I'm a kind Here, guy. Al. 
There's the solo shot of mom. Hello. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> mom. Okay, so here, we're going to try this, Suzanne. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. The first one. Uh-huh. Now, we're going to seal the edges. Sometimes they're round. These, the only ones they had were... Okay, and then you're going to take like a spoonful. Yeah. I should have used... Yeah, yeah. You want to use like what you would use like in a regular yeah. teaspoonful. No. I was already two food. shots into the evening. Okay, yeah. so Bruce, here we go. We're going to seal the top. One. Okay. Seal the top, and Ooh. then you want to make a pleat like this. Just with the front one, you pleat onto... Oh, pleat. Pleat. Suzanne knows how to pleat. Just, that wasn't bad for my first one. Pleat. Do you know I know how to make clothes, sew, I, and yeah. make clothes? She's an accomplished woman. She also knows how to fix a car. And I or know how to she fix did. a car. <laughs> right, I did. Now Remember she doesn't Bruce? even have keys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bruce, so remember how many times I had to stop the car going up the hill on the way to the Golden Gate Bridge to go Amazing forward. what a Bobby it's did. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to make one? Okay, yeah. Okay. Right. Do you need to put oil in here? No. She's no. Steam them. Okay, here you go. Oh. All right. Uh, Al, you want to make one? Or you want to sure. watch? Okay, so just the little edge. He's got a drink in his hand, so it's going to be. Let me get you a little spoon instead of using here. Michelle. Datillo, or Datillo, wanted to know, where's Al? There's Al. There's Al. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, don't overstuff, because okay. then you'd get, All like, right. not a nice pleat. No, I want to have a nice pleat. You want to seal it, Al? Okay, yeah. there you go. Okay, so you pinch the top together, and yeah. then you pleat the This is the, the perfect song for this. Shafafa. Oh it's Shafafa. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I love one night? Huh. Violet started singing. <laughs> she got on the they side. Know all the words. They love this. I can actually do it as a trigger, and they'll start singing automatically. That makes me so happy. So just like there that much. Are. See, see how that's like the right size. That little spoon. Yeah. Okay. okay. A little pinchy pinch. Did you have this when you grew up with your seven Chinese brothers, Alan? No, no. Eight. Oh, eight. The they never made potstickers? Well, one, one of them actually drowned. Oh. Wow. The youngest one. Sorry. Oh, wow. I don't mean to laugh, just, but I just wasn't expecting that. It went south. Yeah. It was such a fun <laughs> evening that Al had then all of a sudden, mention yeah. the drowning brother. Right. Well, you asked about him, you know. <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'm going to talk about Paul. Did, Paul, did that happen to Paul while he was living in the boarding That's house? Yeah. Whoa. He was 18 years old. Jeez. And he was a fighter, a boxer. Uh huh. And he went up north, north of Toronto, and he got stuck in some rapids. Oh. And he drowned. Oh. oh. Well, so at least it was an exotic so drowning. It wasn't Paul. just like yeah. drowning in that. Yeah. It was his time, obviously. Thanks. Okay. Suzanne was dissing on Alan's pot sticker. Somebody just asked, can you, tell? you sell that blouse? You're getting a lot of love on your blouse. Thank By you. the way, next is it next, next week? Friday. Next Friday, <laughs> we are selling um, blouses like this. Not purple. but Not purple, but that'll come down the road. But this weekend, uh, just take a look and tell me which one Al did. So <laughs> take, take a look at this dumplings and tell me which one Al did. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, you need to get the front view. The, the one that looks like a handbag? Yeah. <laughs> Not like somebody, Caroline's beautiful handbag. From oh, the somebody other just said, Al's Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> well, sort of. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. Al grew up in a boarding house. Did you know that? Did you know he grew up <laughs> in a boarding house? Somebody didn't. Yeah. I think the boarding house that Alan grew up in was the most incredible upbringing for a little boy to grow up with all those different cultures and colors and creeds and, and they all loved him because he was the little, the little guy that they all called Sonny uh -huh. and he was this happy little kid that went from room to room and everybody probably said nice what things to him. Yeah. I, I yeah. slept with everybody and everybody. <laughs> That's the word on the street, Al. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys, by the way, um, we do have a Mother's Day promotion. Um, we have our gift cards. Oh, right. So if you um, want to get a really great digital gift for any of the moms in your life, um, you go on to SuzanneSummers.com, 
you click on the gift card, you can buy a $50 gift card, and when you buy that and send it to someone, the next day we will email you a $10 gift card for free. Hey, Bob, how and about that? And if you buy a $100 gift card, we will email you the next day a $25 gift card. So make sure your email address is accurate and updated. And this is delivered digitally, so you're not too late. And um, yeah, for all of you who we'll forgot it. about it, do you yeah. want to do this? Sure. And also, if you want to use it for yourself, if you're someone who really loves shopping at SuzanneSummers.com, which we know you do, so. um, it's just a way to get, you know, it's free money. You buy $100 and you get 125 and you can use it on anything. That's so cool. So, buy a million, <laughs> you have a $200,000 extra. 250000 yeah. extra. Boost. 250. Well, you're so yeah. smart. How'd you figure that out? Where's this? Oh, you have the spoon. <clears throat> Okay, so I am going to start cooking some of these just so you can see what a batch looks like. Okay. Because this can... is like on those cooking shows, shows online where they yeah. show you how to make every meatball. I go, I don't need to, I, I don't need to know exactly. how you make every meatball. Just kind of cut to the chase. Now this is kind of cute. That's a cute yeah, one. That's a cute okay. one. Like, see, this one was like. Uh, Al's oh. feelings got hurt on the well, this one, I can actually. Fix this one. Yeah. And you want oh, you're doing them like like real dumplings there, Al. Okay. Yeah, there are a lot of different ways to do it. See, you now can... this one's cute, too. Yeah. It's all going to taste wanna make sure, You just want to make sure the top is, you know, you do want that, those, that to be sealed up there. Okay, so while you're making that, okay. I'm going oh. to move over here and start cooking. How'd you end up being the cameraman, Bruce? <laughs> I'm probably more comfortable back here. <laughs> Do you know that Bruce is a very successful uh, producer, director? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was just learning this. When did that happen? <laughs> when you weren't looking. <laughs> Have you noticed they don't ask us for money or anything? <laughs> Ever? Well, they don't ask you for money. <laughs> Answer that, Bruce. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's been a while since I've asked for money. So great, isn't it? It is To great. not have to ask? It is. Yeah. It is. As parents, you want to be there when your kids need you, but you want to like cut the cord so that they can achieve on their own. I remember the first time I got my first big paycheck. It was the first season of Three's Company. and. Uh, I didn't make a lot of money on the first season of Three's Company, but all of a sudden I had a check that had some substance. If you and recall, you gave it away. I gave what away? Your first six checks. Oh, I did. Yeah. I gave them away. To? To? Jay Bern PR. Oh, Jay Bernstein Charity? Yeah. No, I... <laughs> the Jay Bernstein Driveway Fund. <laughs> no, here's what I did. I thought, I did this, and I thought it was pretty brilliant. I think it's really smart. I took my first six weeks, and I had no money. My first six weeks, paychecks. I didn't need money because you were living with someone who paid the bills. It was great. But I needed the money. I needed the money. I couldn't buy clothes. I, I, think, buy I think Al needs an attaboy right now. Yeah, so you can finish boy. your story. Attaboy, Al. Now, you, Al. Now finish your story, Mom. Okay. <laughs> and so at the time when... I came onto the scene. Mm -hmm. The biggest female star in TV start was Farrah Fawcett. Mm -hmm. And her, she was managed by Jay Bernstein. So I went to Jay Bernstein and I said, I have a serious commitment of six weeks. I will give you every penny. If you will make sure that if this show doesn't go, that everyone will know my name. And he said, I didn't think you were particularly good looking. <laughs> As only Jay can say, he said, I didn't know if you could act, but I haven't seen that kind of drive since Sammy Davis Jr. And that's why I took you on. And what I noticed in those first six weeks was that I wasn't on many magazine covers, but if Fuero Fawcett was on a magazine cover, guess what? Several pages in, there was an article and big photograph of this unknown Suzanne Summers. So he did his job. Okay, look what's happening here. 
Oh. You oh. start it in a little oil. Oh, this is that. that we're pretty. getting the bottom nice and golden like that. Oh. Okay, so that's. And then what are we going to dip? Oh, I see soy sauce over there. Okay, okay. so then we're going to add just a little bit of water. And now we're going to make sure the inside is cooked. And okay. Steamed. That's nice. how you cook all this raw pork. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, that's an interesting story, isn't it? It's very. Did you know that? that time I time. did know that, okay. and I've always been proud of you for doing that. Like you gotta, you know, when you gotta go for it, you gotta risk it all. Really? That yeah, was, was very risky. Very risky. Very risky. But man, did yeah. At the same off? time, very smart because you had nothing to lose. Right. You're like in six weeks. And I had a boyfriend was paying the rent. Yeah. <laughs> and all our lives would have been just the same. And yeah. at that point. We weren't as poor as we were. So we Bruce, weren't as poor. Like right. I didn't feel it. I like. I always love that you say that. Bruce always says about his childhood. He says, "I didn't know we were poor." Yeah, because we knew had, other people had shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we had food every night. Yeah. And you were friends with everybody in the neighborhood. And some nights when we had a big potato, it was plenty. <laughs> Especially if you divvied it up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I loved my time with you. It was great. It was really great. What was it like, Chris, when you were a boy, when you were a baby? Young boy. Um, well, with the hot single mom. A typical day is I would get up and go into my mom's room where the TV was mm. and turn on the TV and start watching <laughs> cartoons. <laughs> and then um, I'd have my Hot Wheels and I'd run them all over the bed, including her back. My back. And I didn't realize it. Like it felt really good for her. She said, "Like you can put them on my back." Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and we lived across the street from school. Mm -hmm. And I was late every single day. <laughs> <laughs> and you would sit in the living room with our brown shag rug. Yeah. Uh, and our, in and our, our apartment faced east. Yes, so and the sun the would come sun. in. He would sit in the sun like our cat. Yeah. She yeah. finds the sun wherever it is. Yeah. She just sits there, and you would sit there in your little underpants and undershirt. Yeah. It was so cute. My little but tiny does, whiteies. Does he do the same thing as what our cat does when she's sitting in the sun? What, is she, what does our cat do? She lifts one leg and licks, oh. licks herself. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Jealous? Just check. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to bring you guys chopsticks. Oh. And I have them. We have them. Somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. No worries. When you're living in a house that's not your house, you don't know where everything is. Yeah. Yeah. So these steam for like three to five minutes. Okay. Really? Yeah. That um, cooks the pork? That cooks the pork, yeah. And if it doesn't cook the pork, don't you You get... can use a meat thermometer if you have one. Um, what do they call that pork disease? Trichinosis. Yeah. Trichinosis. You know what? I got an A in trichinosis. <laughs> Maybe that was something else. <laughs> <laughs> what was the hardest course for you ever? Inter. The hardest. <laughs> <laughs> Al will be Al, right, girls? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Inter. I need to get some tongs. Hardest, oh, marine biology. What, and what is that? It's the study of marine animals. But like, you start with little uh, cellular level marine animals, like amoebas and oh, stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh. And that was a hard class, because there was a lot of chemistry. Chemistry was hard for me, too. I was I not an algebra person. I was good at geometry. Algebra was hard for me. Algebra 2 was hard for me. I was good. The problem for me is I was good at math, so I accelerated through algebra and algebra two and geometry and trig, and then got to calculus yeah. and, like too early. Yeah. And I remember Mr. Wales. Mr. Wales, if you're ever watching, um, I was sitting I'm there sure senior watching. year. Uh -huh. Mr. Wells. Mr. Yeah. Wales. Mr. Wells. Who are you, Mr. Wells? No, no, no. He was a sweet guy. Oh, he was okay. a really sweet guy. And I was sitting there in senior year, and he goes, "Whoa." He kind of he kind of spoke like Obama, same kind of rhythm. Yep. Well, I want to thank you all for being in this class because it's an elective. And I raised my hand. I said, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you mean by elective?" And he's like, "Well, you don't have to be here at this point. You've uh, fulfilled all your requirements for math for college." And I said, 
thank you. And I picked up my books. And you I did? Out of class. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I finished math junior year of uh, of high school. Wow, I didn't know that. I just always knew you were smart. Good. <laughs> I was really in physics and chemistry. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I got a hundred every time. Is that what you got the scholarship wow. for? No, I got a scholarship uh, because if I asked you to guess what, what subject, you'd never guess the subject. What subject, Al? It was technical. Oh. And the exam was to draw a schematic of an FM radio station. <laughs> I did it perfectly. Wow. Okay, look at wow. Look at, look at you beautiful. Guys. Wow. wow. Okay, so now they're steamed on the top here. I think I need a spatula. I'm getting bored making these. Uh, well, we can. <laughs> you don't yeah. need to make any more. You don't have to. It gets, yeah. It's your day. It's your weekend. You're think, of the, yeah. think of the people who work in Chinese restaurants. Yeah, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Their teams, all day. I imagine. I, I think they stuck, you guys. Well, a lot of people right. use, you know, we don't use nonstick here. It's just not our thing. Yeah. Let's see. You know, there's a lot of chemicals that leak out of Teflon and nonstick yeah. pots. We don't use them. Any place that you can avoid taking in chemicals, please do. Please do. Are we under assault? <laughs> environmental assault? <laughs> Greatest di environmental assault in the history of humanity. <laughs> I say it over and over and over right again guy. so you'll, it'll lock in. It's true. It's true. It's true. And um, don't be one of them that wishes, oh, I wish I'd listened. I think this is going to be too hot for you right now, but I'm going to set I it over wait. here. Wait. Just for me to move all this stuff aside. Wow. All right. Well, Mom needs to wash your hands. I do. Yeah. yeah. Go wash. Oh yeah, we have to wash our hands. Yeah. Or else yeah. you'll get trigonometry. <laughs> you get a lot of compliments on your pants and your polka dots, Mom. Oh great! Thank you. Everyone loves them. You, you do look pretty cute. I try. Yeah. She's cute. Here, I can put these. In. Okay. So you want me to? Well, it's going to be. We're it's too, hot. too hot for you. Right? I'll have some tequila. So, did you wash your hands in that short time? Yeah, I did. Okay, so the world needs to know something about my mother. She doesn't really take a long time to wash her hands or dishes. It's sort of like, ah, it's clean enough. And, she, and I think that's why her immune system is so strong. <laughs> because they're never quite clean. <laughs> and you guys have seen her. When she's rubbing the chicken and then she grabs the olive oil. Exactly. Like, I can't do that. It's, it's the Irish stock in her. It's like, ah, it's good for you. <laughs> a mother, little trigonosis. <laughs> your mother and I have something very important. Yes. What? Both of our immune systems are really powerful. Yes. First, from not washing her hands. <laughs> and I mean, not yes. washing anything else. And what did you do as a kid, Al, to from, boost your... From, from, from the time I was eight mm. until I was did 12, ah. I picked up cigarette butts off the street and smoked them. Did you hear that, everyone? Did Say you that hear again, that, everybody? Just in case people so I hear. advise every eight-year-old to pick up cigarette mm. butts off the street and smoke them, okay? Then you're, you're picking up all the antibodies from all those people. Oh, there's a meme. Okay. We're, we're, we're missing the, the moment here. Uh, how is oh. it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys look at the, see the bottom there is all. Mm. Wow, nice they're feel. perfect, Caroline. Not bad for our first time. Holy cow. Mm. Wow. Wow. And this china looks like, like White House china. It looks like the presidential <laughs> seal from far away. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's from the White House. Okay. All right. Well, you know, from, from the okay. Rose Room. Yeah. <laughs> Al, do yeah. him. All right, Al. Okay, well, I'm just a little Is it too hot? Try one of these. This is not as hot. Um, so our blouses are really? launching in thing. two weeks. It's on the 20th. What? The blouses. We're launching in oh. two weeks. Oh, you're going to love them. They're like this. Yes. Yeah. They're in mm. super Al? cute pattern. Yummy yeah, noises. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to take this one. Would, would our Chinese brothers be proud? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Are we honoring Paul properly? Paul. Paul, who died. Paul. Drowned. Paul. Rest in peace, Paul. Paul. Oh. I'm trying I'm to, really hot. I'm trying How to does find the Chinese guy have a name, Paul? 
was not, that was his English. Usually they, yeah. yeah, they, they that's like when I was in China and Shanghai a few years ago, we had this interpreter, and oh, her name was time. Monica. So one day I'm with her, she's really nice, and I said, come on, your name's not Monica. I said, what's your real name? She said, oh, Wen Su. <laughs> I went, okay, just stay with Monica. Exactly, and she's like, see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Caroline, these are incredible. Mm -hmm. Bruce, I want, I want to get you one, but mm. I'm just going right. to... I need a camera now. <laughs> he said, pass it aggressively. I'll trade with you. Mm. Al's going to take over. Mm. No, Al's, no, you're cooking. I'm, 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 I'm going to let Bruce have a bite. Now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. <laughs> so good. Holy crap. Mm. Okay. Oh. Did you get the feeling? Okay. There's Whoa. a family we like to eat. <laughs> mm. Damn. It looks great. Yeah, it's great. I knew that day. Wow. When I saw her walk into that party. Mm -hmm. She's going to be an it. And mm. a good cook. Hot. No, I had some stuck oh. in my teeth. Yum. <laughs> Man, that's insane. I'm glad you like Better than any Chinese restaurant. We're family, really. so I can double dip. That's the, yeah. That's the first course. Mm. Wow. Um, don't forget, you guys grab your gift cards mm. if you need a gift mm -hmm. for Mother's mm -hmm. Day. Mm -hmm. So good. Your mother, your mother-in-law, your wife, your sister, <laughs> your daughter, any of the mothers you want to honor. Those, you know, surrogate moms. Not everyone has a mom, surrogate moms. You buy a $50 gift card, you get a $10 gift card that will be mailed to you the next day, free. Spend $100 to give someone a gift card, and you get a $25 gift card, free. It's all at SuzanneSummers.com. Wow. The dipping sauce, guys, is... Holy crap. Soy sauce, or tamari, which I used, um, rice wine vinegar, and a little mm. bit of uh, chili, like chili oil. Wow. Chili crumb sauce. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's insane. Al, will you hold this so I can have a bite? <clears throat> We're just we're just partying for Mother's Day. That's what we're doing. We're cooking and partying. <laughs> we're spending the night. So, you know, usually when I come, I can't drink. But, but now you can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. It's gonna... hard to be away from our new home that Caroline surprised us with. But <laughs> <laughs> and the new car that she bought. Would you buy a home too? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, she didn't consult me. She just bought a new home. My house. With her no, new. Uh, mm. Yeah. I saw the new Range Rover. Oh yeah, they posted an expanse, a, a huge These are house. In the, the hackers, in the East for those who are tuning oh. in late. The hackers oh. took over Carolyn, but mm. Carolyn's back on Instagram. Right. And the funny thing is, most of my followers were like, I knew that wasn't you, it's not your style. But this one woman said, To be braggy? That's a, well, and also the style of the house. Yeah. They said that's <laughs> my style. But one woman said, this is much nicer than that apartment you live in. <laughs> that apartment has a nice view, but it's so cold. <laughs> well, you put yourself out there and you, you hear what everyone has to say. Are there more that you're cooking? Mm. <laughs> she said, wanton well, was See what you did there? Wanton Wanton <laughs> Wow, it's well, really good. To. I am going to make you more, but I was going to get the, the next no, course okay. made. Let's do that. And while you're starting that, I have something well, I second. want to share with Bruce, as you know. That's perfect timing. Mm. Okay. Wow, was that good? Yeah. Wow. Was I adopted? Mm. <laughs> wow. Where should we do this, Caroline? Um, I think you should sit right there. Here? Okay. Yeah. Or you could, yeah, you could do it right there. Okay, so Alan, yeah. I'll tell you what's happening next while she's getting set up. Oh, well, she's ready. Okay, you go. Well, no. No, you can go. Come here, Brucey. What is this? This is for you. Sit down. Wasn't that for you? Yeah, but I kept the box. The shoes I love, but it was too nice a box to throw out. Okay. So my gift is not from Milano? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this a gift? <coughs> no. <coughs> it's, it's memorabilia. Oh, okay.
Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You know who I'm surprised isn't on here? Who? Steve Garvey. We, Alan's in the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Alan's in first Steve Garvey. Yeah, because it was the same period. Yeah. <laughs> this is of the landing in Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> well, there's glue, and I have these extra baseball cards. <laughs> and so, so when we first moved to Los Angeles, uh, um, we were in a one-bedroom apartment in the Beverly Hills. House. It was the penthouse. 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 <laughs> And uh, um, it was one bedroom, and the only space for me was at the top of the landing of the <laughs> stairs with the Beverly Crest Hotel lights <laughs> shining in. But mom, to her credit, made it as cute as possible. I did. I made you, all the curtains. You made the curtains, and you put um, shelving at the end of yep. the landing, and a built-in. Remember the built-in from Sausalito? Yeah. I noticed everything. Okay. Yeah. So yeah I also, also do up there. Yeah, also, exactly. We knew you might get a little bored up there. So we said, you know, Bruce, you can entertain yourself by peeing off the roof. You're good. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, that's not why I peed off the roof, but I did pee off the roof. I know that. You're still talking about it. I peed off the roof because I wasn't always welcome in the bathroom downstairs because it was in their room. <laughs> that was the it's only the bathroom. Only bathroom. Exactly. Exactly. What I expected was two hundred dollars a month. Hey, listen, I get it now. Yeah. Yeah. You could have been a little nicer. Just saying. <laughs> but we're good now. We're good. Wow. Wow. I don't know if we have enough show for this because I want to go through all of yeah, this. Yeah, well, you will. This Open is. Open that. Okay. Wow. Wednesday. <laughs> And when, my mother made it as small as possible. <laughs> this is, my see, because mom got knocked up on Saturday. <laughs> so Mr. and Mrs. Frank Mahoney had the wedding on Wednesday. Wow. So, wow. So That's so true. That they could, That's true. So she wow. was still Catholic enough. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> as small as like they're getting married. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep it too small. Your daughter Suzanne is getting married. <laughs> Aren't <laughs> you glad to have them? That's awesome. That's and awesome. It was quality. No, it's amazing. <laughs> um, where? Huh? Where? Oh. <laughs> they're just they're just getting married. We're not gonna tell you where. <laughs> there was no. There was no where. Wow. Uh, what, what day did you get married? What was the date? Oh, that's a good question. I don't even know the answer to that. I think November 19th. 14th of April. You were close. 14th of April. <laughs> oh, that's our wedding. 1900. We got married November 19th. <laughs> well, you know someone got married. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay. See, amnesia is a good thing. Okay, so that, that's like about five or six months, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's So good. April, May, June, July, August, <laughs> September, October, November. Okay, so like you knew right away. Yeah, I right away. Yeah. 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 So, Sore boobs. So yeah, you're <laughs> Catholic enough. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never seen that. Yeah. I do remember these. Yeah. And this oh. was when you were in your Halloween costume. That you I, made, you have to right? You the pictures. And I didn't, well, but I didn't know how to. Uh, this one you can't see. I, it's faded. Over. I have seen this one before. You can't really tell, but I'm in a little clown costume. No, you can't really tell. No. <laughs> wow. Wedding picture? Yep. Wow. Look at him. <laughs> no, it just dawned on me. Like, I always had grandparents. Like, yeah. I was lucky. Yeah. I always had grandparents, yeah. and all my grandparents are now passed away. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, Never Chuck was the last. Yeah. No, I know. I'm, I, I, I just thought you should have me. I, I'm going to spend more I know, time. I know, I know. This was wow. my 
wedding shower, but you can see I'm a little fat. Right, right. <laughs> Soft dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's... A little juicy. That feels like fourth grade. Yeah, yeah. It was probably El Rodeo, because oh, yeah. they didn't really do it in yeah, the Bayside. Right. Wow, and there's Maureen. Yeah. Wow, okay. All right, I'll move faster course, for the show yeah. and then go and through then it. And then go through it all. They're making Mongolian beef over here. Wow. Okay. Little, yeah. What I've done is I took yeah. uh, very, very thin slices. <laughs> you can use flank yeah, steak or sirloin good. steak, yeah. just very thin yeah. like that. Somebody, and I'm just putting a little bit of tamari and a little bit of pepper and a little bit of baking soda, which is how in a lot of Chinese <laughs> menus, that's how they tenderize the meat. Yeah. So uh, no. this is actually, this is good for you to know. This is, uh, versus, I didn't know how to teach him about sex, so I got yeah. him this book. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. How babies so, are made. Yeah. <laughs> so babies come from cartoon characters. <laughs> yeah. And they start, that's how small they start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little pencil. And then uh, there's flowers involved. <laughs> and then look, the flowers grow little balls. Yeah. <laughs> and the balls grow an egg. Yeah. And there's a tube. I think this is representational, you but I'm think? not sure. But it's a stupid sure. book. Actually, look at oh. hens, <laughs> chickens do what dogs do. <laughs> like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> 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 I didn't know that. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> it's a universal animal thing. Whoa, oh. hey, hey now, oh, hey that's now. Oh, that's pretty graphic for a kid's book. Yeah, no, he's They're not just, humans, but... Well, what are you looking at? The hen wants to know what's on her neck. That's all. <laughs> all right, I, I'm going to look yeah. at this. Who did this? This is, is that your, that's Me, your writing? Yeah. Did you just do this? No. Um, years and then? years. When yeah. we used to keep yeah. scrapbooks, wow. right? look at this. Okay, so you dredge this in just a little bit of cornstarch. Oh, okay. And that's what makes the Mongolian beef crispy on the outside. You just need a thin wow. little right. coating here. Who I think recently died. I never met him. Yeah, he died. Yeah. Your godfather? Yeah. Is this something? Yeah, this is Nora. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and, and now Ducky. Yeah. Ducky, is it? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Is my hair red there, or is that no, just the lighting? Just the lighting. Uh, okay. And that's uh, Marty Marty and Dan. Marty and Dan. Wow. Memory lane happening over yeah, here. Yeah, right? See, this is the fun part of moving. Yeah. Is yeah. when you find your treasures and... Pam and Pammy and Dave. Pam Breckis was my best friend and she was uh, your god... No, she was no. your... No. Nora was the god. Right. Pam was there. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. I made that. Aww. The bassinet. You made his bassinet? Uh-huh. The, all the... All the, the bedding? All the stuff curtains. around and the curtains. He looks like a little Aww. prince in there. I guess you haven't come to my party yet, right? <laughs> no, you won't be in this now. Go we'll see those yeah. pictures. Can, they, can, can Are those pictures legible remember, that you can see? Uh, I remember this across the street. The yeah. I want to say I remember that park, but maybe I just remember being in a swing in a different park. I, and that little I put swing. the rest of the pot stickers in for you, too. Oh, thank you. I you are so great. Excuse me. My eyes. <laughs> That's why when I said one of your daughters was in the stupor, I remember being in the stupor. <laughs> That's uh, Sandy. Show Alan, what you, oh, show Alan yes. what you guys are looking at. Well, he has to be over here. Yeah, it's hard, okay. to, it's hard to see. Oh, it's hard to get yeah. in there. It's the, the pictures where on the edge it's stamped August 65. 
That's wow. how these are. Yeah. Look at my mother's beautiful legs. Wow. I see my mother's beautiful legs out. I, I know your mother's beautiful legs. Yeah. Is that where you got your beautiful legs? I think so. Yeah. Thanks, and, Grammy. And Grammy, look, she knew how to sit. She knew how to sit. Yeah. She sat like a lady. She was yeah. a lady. She was. Oh, that there comes. Was. That comes. That goes here. Um, okay, so let me. I can tell you what's happening with these sauces over here. If you want to come over here, I'll see. So, this is hoisin. Um, I used a gluten free hoisin for hoisin. Um, and it also has a little um, tamari in it. And then I'm going to add ginger and garlic, brown sugar and some red chili flakes. So that's the sauce, but the first thing that you do is you take these dredged pieces of beef and you cook them in hot oil and they get like a little crispy. And then you and then you add the sauce right at the end. So it's crispy, but then it has like, it's a sweet and savory sauce. It's delicious. And then I have some really nice looking broccolini here too. Matching hat and shoes. I don't think that makes total sense, and I don't think I ever realized that. Yeah. That, that, that Maureen was your maid of honor. Yeah. John was That's it. That's all there is. That wow. is. That That's is. all there is. What wow. an amazing. That's amazing. What an amazing treasure. That's amazing. Okay, folks, we're rounding the horn. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you. Oh, I better get we're finishing not. with this. <laughs> I've never doubted that. I know that, I know that. Even, even after three rounds of therapy and <clears throat> ten, 10 or 15 years of therapy, I've never, I've never once said oh, I was never loved. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, Bruce, can you come help me, sweetie? In the beautiful Prada box. Yes. In the beautiful Gucci box. Da Milano. Will you um, grab that peanut oil right there and put it in this pan and heat it up? Okay, now we're over here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm dredging the oh. peanut uh, to the right. Is that all yeah. that incredible meat you cut? It is. Wow. Put it in here, Carolyn. Yep. Just uh, Get it. Um, these are line more the bottom. Uh, pot stickers? Yeah, those are ready. If you want to feed yourself. We might them. have to. Yeah. You think you have to have another pot sticker, Alan? Yeah. yeah. God, they're good. All the flavors are so great. Yeah. But the thing about um, a meal like this is it's all last minute. You can't do yeah, much true. beforehand. So it's like on the spot cooking, but it's fun. When you can make the, um, you can make the pot stickers and if you're not going to cook them right away, you can freeze them and they freeze well. You just have to steam them for yeah. like five minutes instead of three minutes. But you can't make them and then have them sit or else the filling will fall through the bottom. Right. Because the dough like gets wet and that's not good. Caroline, you're such the shell answer person. Oh, I don't know. It's amazing. That's why she's doing the Q&A. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Q&A today though because I'm here. I listened to her from my office. Keep going, it okay. needs quite a bit because it, it's like a, it's a pan fry. Kind of deep. So keep going. So you say when. Like, now these are not happen. cooked on the bottom like the other. Oh, spot. they aren't. No, they're falling oh, apart. Oh, because you're pulling. You're not. You're not scraping oh, the bottom. Oh, I'm not scraping. Turn that on high. Okay, I'll do it for you. I mean, it needs a. Um, yeah. Not a good cooking shirt. Yeah, it needs a spatula. Okay. For you. This is like a Rorschach test. Yeah, it took me a while. <laughs> Okay, so. On high, Caroline? Yeah. There it is. There we go. I'm sorry, I messed it up. Okay. Uh, did you get this on high, Chris? That's on high, yeah. I don't think so. No. We could have been here a really long time. Yeah. You know what's the hardest word? Sorry. <laughs> so, so sad. <laughs> It's a sad, sad situation. Okay, here you go. You want to bring me that little bowl over there? Or you want to put it in here? That's there enough for the moment. Okay. You enjoy those. Okay, so here's what's happening with this sauce here. 
the hoisin and the tamari, I'm gonna add the brown sugar. Um, and then there's also a little bit of cornstarch in there, which you need to thicken it up. And then this is the ginger and the garlic. That goes in the sauce, right? That was fun for us. Yeah, exactly. Hope everyone else yes. enjoyed it. Bye. That's where all the flavor is. And you can use like a little chili in this. I'm gonna use just a red chili because I couldn't find any. Red Because she apologized. <laughs> so you know the blue jewelry not I wore enough, on yeah. the last show, all of you? Yes. yes. Not well, I was in my closet. Is the, is and the up there. Yes, on there? Yeah. Yeah. I was in my closet. Come to me, Al. Pardon? Come to me. Yeah. Camera was one. It, over I was here. in my closet, and up, up here was all that beautiful blue jewelry that I wore. And Alan has said to me, because I'm still recovering, don't do it, don't, just, don't. And he took the ladder out of my closet, he said, call me. But he was asleep in the other room and I thought, oh, I can do it. So I stepped you up. You thought, ah, it's just a broken neck. Right. Oh, good. Right. I'll go try right. this. So I step up <laughs> on this ottoman in my dressing room and reach up there and I get it. But when I came down, there was nothing to hang on to and I fell bad and I just ripped up my whole arm, but I did not hurt my neck or my spine or anything. And um, I just feel stupid. And Alan came out and I showed him all the blood and he said, stupid. I was stupid. Because was stupid. she wasn't injured more, they're both calling her stupid today. Yeah. I called and her stupid. Like, and I was like, don't kick her while she's down. <laughs> like she, and they were like, no, we have to so that she never does that again. <laughs> it's um, Irish it thick-headedness. That's right. what it is. I will never do it again until I'm completely healed. It was stupid. <laughs> it's, it's the ducky in you. Okay, I'm testing this oil again. No, when, when, okay, now it's off. When you've been injured, if you can do it, okay. you want to okay, do it. I get it, yeah. I get it. So It's also the, the hard-headedness of the Irish. The worst thing you can do it's when you're frying is Just overcrowd. Because if you overcrowd, your oil gets... Not it doesn't stay hot, and then you're, it just absorbs all into your food, and it doesn't get crispy. Right. So these only need about a minute. Are you okay? Yeah. Here, watch it balance the kilo, mommy. Thanks, that's enough to get better. Mongolian beef. If you guys have had this at Chinese restaurants, um, it's a yummy, decadent thing to eat. You can make it a little healthier at home. Organic meat, organic cornstarch, tamari, and hoisin that has no MSG in it. Okay. So this is how you get that nice little crispy coating on there. Don't forget you guys, you can get your gift cards if you want to get a gift for anyone in your life. You buy a gift card for someone and they email it to them, so you can send it whenever you want. It's not too late. It's so beautiful. And then the next day you get a, another bonus sent to you. So if you buy a $50 gift card, the next day $10 will be sent to your email as a gift card. 
And you can use that on anything. And if you buy a hundred dollar gift card, you get twenty five bucks. I'm telling you, buy a million dollars, and Alan <laughs> Hamill will give you a quarter million dollars. <laughs> I'll turn up. Yeah. <laughs> and hand it to you. I'll turn up. Yeah. There you go. Okay. You heard it. He'll turn up, and he'll even hand it to you with a German accent. Yeah. <laughs> Your hand is yeah. Okay. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're not eating this right in Mongolia. And it's interesting, I guess Mongolian beef is not from Mongolia. Ah. Ah, no, they're very chewed out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let it cook for about a minute on this side, and then I'm going to set it aside and cook the rest. And then what? Then you take out all the oil, and, and then you put it, put it in the sauce. You let that sauce thicken. You pop it in right at the end. And then with rice. Cover it with, then you see you garnish with beautiful yeah. green onions and sesame seeds. Yeah. Serve it with broccoli and rice. Do you need to and turn on your broccoli? Does everyone get extra time broccoli. today? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the chef just didn't get it done in an hour today, so. <laughs> We're just going to hang out Stay a little longer. Them. Okay. Yeah. Show, them and the, show them the beautiful table, Ellen. Yeah, you guys, why don't you go on a little tour of the house? No. No? Yeah. But the little table is looking nice. Oh, yeah, the table. Show them your nice table. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is yeah. our Mother's Day nice table. Let's go through Al's nightstand. Do you get Do you get Bruce's personality with Alan? <laughs> I think I think you, I think you got it, right, Al? What? <laughs> okay, now let's show them your closet. <laughs> His closet is actually looking better than mine. Yeah, my closet is great. Yeah. But let's go through all the drawers. They don't have drawers. <laughs> <laughs> Did your mother tell you that I bought her her new underwear? He did. He bought me new underwear. No, wait. So just pause. Put a, put a pause on that. Why would she tell me that? Because <laughs> he tells you everything. I'm just, I, I, I am the voice of the viewer. I thought she told me Why you that. would she tell him that? <laughs> anyway, isn't this pretty? And I think this present is for me. It is. That wrapping is so beautiful, Caroline. Oh, it matches yeah. your blouse. Wow, look at that. Now let me pick up the present. And this beautiful vase with the flowers are in You can do the polka. Uh, <laughs> You're missing the shot, Al. Dr. Robin Smith. Oh, okay. Look at my polka dot present and my polka dot shirt. Okay. <laughs> Got it. So pretty. Are you going to open it? No. No. You know what I'm going to do? It's the I'm underwear gonna, um, game. What are you going to do? Bruce, if you can man the frying, I'm just going to finish up this sauce in another pan so that yeah. I can... Yeah. I'll have another pot sticker for you guys to see. I can purse it. Okay. That's the last one. Okay. Wow. 
Okay. Great. Are these okay. done? Yeah, pretty good. Did you do both sides? Yeah. Yeah, boom. Okay. Okay, so this is Look at that. ready. I'm heating up the sauce. Okay. Who wants this? Al, you want a pot sticker? Sure. Can you feed that to him? So you know no. what, what we haven't heard? We need some boo boo stories. Yeah, we need to hear about your mom, Al. We should. I can kick it off by saying your mother was one of the strongest, willed, uh, funniest souls, and I'm forever not indebted, but I just love her because she um, accepted me as just another one of her grandkids. I, 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 I try to talk a lot with her. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> and still, she treated me like all the others. You know what was amazing? Uh, she has all these grandchildren, and she made her will, and she gave them each a certain amount, including Bruce, exactly the same. That taught me so much. Yeah. She also taught me something really important about um, family. She said, you know, you can pick your friends. You can't <laughs> pick your drunk. family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to put some of this meat that's ready cooked oh, here. Excuse me. Okay, so this is going in the sauce now. Oh, oh, wow. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Do you make this up? No, Mongolian beef is a, you know, it's kind of a traditional. I mean, I made up this particular version of it. Yeah, but I think you made this up. You know, I, I add a little extra of this and that and the other thing. Okay, so see how, nice and, see how nice and thick that sauce there. is? And the other thing. She had a Mongolian boyfriend. My nephew actually went to the Peace Corps in Mongolia. Okay, that looks gorgeous. Look Which at that. One? Which one? Nick. Nick. Oh, really? Okay. Now that great picture okay, of him with go. that um, falcon on his arm. Wow. On That's from... I haven't seen him in years. Have you? Oh, yeah. He's, uh, he is getting married. Look, Bruce. In... Suzanne. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Now I'm going to go. It's a holy crab. In October. Wow. Sesame seeds. Scallions. What a meal. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow, Carolyn. Give me All that. Right. This is I'm just the next yeah. one. No, no, I want you just to have a bite and then we're gonna let our friends right. Let's follow Susanna. She's gonna have a bite. Okay. And then we're gonna a Mother's Day bite. Okay, I'm gonna have the Mother's Day bite. Mm. Like butter. We're just gonna have a couple. So amorous. Mm. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. Hamster, hamster. Mm. Go get yours. Oh, God. So oh, good. What food? Mm. Mm. You guys, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It's Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. We're just having fun today mm -hmm. and I love, celebrating you. I love, I love my you so family. much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love you. You're really, really good at a lot of things, and you're the best at being a mom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Truly. Thank you so much. Happy love, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day to all of you. I love you, Bruce. I love you, Caroline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good night, everybody. God bless you. <laughs>